check for advanced recovery button it's not available yeah it's available here you can directly boot into recovery using that if you don't have that press the power button and volume button to boot into recovery this is the latest twrp recovery available for poco xc slash nfc once it get booted into recovery go to wipe section and select your advanced app and select dalvik art catch package catch catch and metadata and data and swipe here to wipe it once that has been done go to home section and select install and select the micro sd card wherever you downloaded the rom zip file first file is flash the firmware here i will always recommend the 13.0.1.0 surya global whenever i change i will mention in the videos once the flash firmware flashing has been completed go to install again and select the rom zip file in this video i am going to show you cherry choice 4.4 latest available build, but it's an unofficial build you can see here the build date is january 11th it takes a little bit of time to flash the rom wait until it gets flashed you can see the rom flashing has been done again go to home section select here wipe and select format data and type here yes and press this tick button done go to home again select the reboot and select the system this is how simple the flashing method of uh, custom rom for poco x is slash nfc in fact this is a cherry choice 4.4 it will be applicable for same roms if you have like uh, vanilla build then you can watch my previous video on acp and if you have other uh, miui based roms you can watch my miui recolino edition and the nusantara project also there is videos every each and every videos for poco xc watch them and flash it properly and here we go it's booted into cherish os 4.4 in this video i am going to explain everything in detail straight until the end of the video and let's begin this video hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this is sampath you watching sampath samfx youtube channel and this is poco x3 custom rom reviews cherry source 4.4 latest version it is with the android version 13 you can see here and kernel user is 4.14.302 lineage OS kernel has been used on january 5th 2023 is the latest security patch and same status is enforcing and i have been running the cpu throttling test from last 5 minutes and 7 seconds and 8 milliseconds you can see the scores the maximum score is 180 192 and average is 187 and minimum is 159 and there is no thermal throttling has been detected this is an excellent rom available after a long time i am seeing this kind of results according to this cpu throttling test you can see there is no thermal throttling has been detected which is good this is a 200 threat test guys which is excellent in my opinion and you can see this is the rom and this is the quick settings panel you get in the edit section you get lot more options if you want you can drag and use that even the sync option is available that's how it is and this is going to be a very good rom for poco x slash nfc previously in 3.0 version also this version was really good the 3.4 and now again 4.4 going to be a very good version i don't know is it a coincidence or anything like that but it is like this and moving into like benchmark results like you can see geekbench scores here I have run it you can see single score is 558 and multi score is 1657 which is good in my opinion again at linux 4.14.302 linux OS kernel has been used this is the home screen and this is the quick settings panel you get and this is the app drawer and recent apps you can see from here and if i go into dialer here you can check out here you will get a direct video call feature here let me once again as you can see and you also get the call recording but it will announce the other person that you are recording the call this how it is it's simple and useful which is working fine this rom and some of the pre-installed apps you get if you want you can uninstall it directly and safety and status again here it will get passed you can use all the audit, uh, the payment applications like phone pay you know sba and uh, google pay those going to be work fine no problem regarding that and drm information yeah it takes time to open the app as you can see level one certification you can watch all the audit application in high definition resolution and enter to benchmark again you can see app opening time taking little bit of time but the scores are very good 3 lakh 47 thousand six hundred and forty five and 1.4 degree celsius is the temperature is and three percentage of battery drop has been noticed during this enter testing and camera application you get simple camera application here i don't think so anyone uses it for basic tasks and things you can use that if you want something advanced you can use always the arno build gcam here if you want you can use any other gcam also this is my recommendation as you can see this is the version of gcam i am using for poco x slash nfc in every 
other custom ROMs and record also you get here simple and everything is going to work fine no problem regarding that google maps are also going to work fine no problem regarding that even whatsapp is also going to work fine and carrier aggregation support is there and have like 100 mps uh, fiber connection here it's going to pull up to uh, 90 to 95 and even with mobile data connection also i checked that out it's going to work fine no problem regarding that carrier aggregation support is also there now moving into actual settings you get this kind of settings here as you can see it's also quick enough but just it's the animation is limited here it's not completely going to drag completely but it's fine and that's how it is and moving into system into the gestures into system navigation into gesture navigation you get the option to increase the pill length but not a radius option and uh, double tap to you can keep it out to check the phone and swipe to three finger screenshot on one handed mode those things are the gesture shortcuts you can enable or disable from here now moving into like uh, location settings as i said the google maps everything is working fine even the privacy microphone camera access you can enable or disable from here into the utilities again this is an accessibility menu which is a handy feature i always keep on explaining about this without actually using the physical buttons you can use the volume and some of the other customization also available here just turn it on and use that as a uh, handy feature that's good thing in my opinion in aosp roms and sound and vibration again you get clear speaker option and direct sound enhancer like enable direct and headphone type and preset and even the hi-fi audio system settings are given here vibration and haptics again nothing fancy here similar to any other aosp roms and battery life the battery life going to be a little bit better here because of no thermal throttling detective but i can't say it's going to be a great battery life like what we see in some of the roms like spark os you can definitely watch for that video the spark os and the arrow os those will have better battery life but this one will also be next to that i can say and you can see here it is recognizing face okay it will charge rapidly as you can see it will show charging rapidly after some time that's how it is and i will show you the fingerprint unlock also as you can see it's very quick to unlock your smartphone using that fingerprint unlock and even the obling effect is there and next is the face unlock it is recognizing my face now it's too dark uh, let me show that okay it's a little bit difficult guys when it's in dark condition but in daylight it is going to work fine as you can see it's get unlocked that's how it is the uh, face unlock and fingerprint unlock could be better but it depends guys when you unlock and have more patterns then it will unlock very quick and moving into this customizations i explained in every edition video there's nothing new here quick settings and themes you get those options those are still available here nothing new added you can check out my previous video regarding these things I explained in detail regarding them and in the miscellaneous settings you need to enable these uh, things in order to get the unlock high fps count on google photos unlimited storage those things are given in this settings they have given app lock i don't know anyone uses uh, anyone checks here for that button that's how it is present in this particular setting notifications again you get all the options and answer notifications also are also given here on wallpapers and style here you go to change wallpapers you get new feather like wallpapers and kamala these things are available here basic colors this is the android 13 feature basic colors number of colors and combination of colors you get even the wallpaper colors you get combination of colors dark theme as i said before it's available here it's not in pitch black condition themed icons are given app grid for interface is given and let's move into display whether to check that and dark theme no there is no pitch black condition here no, that's how it is and display size and text again it will revert back to some other settings colors are given here minimum maximum refresh rate kept to 120 and low power refresh rate kept to 60 if you can you can change from 30 to 120 it depends upon you tap to wake and tap to wake up plug those are working fine here let me disable this dark theme and by the way for first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like hope so this is going to be a very good rom for poco x slash nfc that's how it is the fm radio is also pre-installed here if you want you can use that those things are the good in this particular rom everything is working fine ui responsive is fine here 
and these toggles are working fine i did not face any issues as of now but it's not a complete package here somewhere you feel something is missing that's how it is but it is good to have it as a daily driver if you are from previous version so you can definitely flash this rom and this new state it will force closes i want to show you practically here i don't know in many of the roms it's not compatible i hope the people that's why they commented me to have this gameplay in every each and rom i don't think so what's the problem be regarding this even the usb debugging is also turned off in the developer settings but still it is getting force closure is it in a maintenance period or what let me know in the comment section guys i don't know why it gets force closed each and every time as you can see in every rom i am testing this only in miui based roms it's working fine and some of the asp roms it's working fine and that's it this how the cherry show is 4.4 that's my conclusion you can use it as a daily driver it's a little bit better in terms of battery efficiency you can go ahead and flash this rom if you are on a previous versions but if you want to play like pubg new state i don't know what's the problem if you know that let me know in the comment section guys we'll meet you with another interesting good until that keeps smiling bye bye for now